Hello from uh, our demo installation. Uh, our main topic today is the Solar Assistant online monitoring software. Uh, we have the two 8 kilowatt solar inverters in single phase mode, 24 panels and 30 kilowatt hours lithium ion storage. Uh, the screen of our solar assistant is here. I'm going to show you the box. This is the latest Orange Pi 3 with 16 gigabyte memory. All you have to do when you get this uh, box, it is already pre activated for Voltacon. You have to connect it to the Ethernet or to your Wi Fi and scan this QR code for the instructions. For each inverter, you need one special USB cable. We have two inverters, so that's USB from inverter one, and that's the second USB back to our uh, communication port. And that's our slave inverter back to the other communication port. The third USB is connected to Pylontech. Pylontech has a console port and this is where we connect the communication port number three. The HDMI is used for external monitors like this one. We need to set it up but you can have a nice touch screen or any LCD display with an HDMI port. And that's it, the wiring is completed. I forgot to mention the power supply. This is a USB-C, 5 volts, connected back to the mains. But you're also welcome to use the battery terminals. We have a DC to DC converter that accepts any voltage from 10 up to 70 volts and converts this back to 5 volts DC with a USB-C uh, adapter. Now, this is our screen. It's a beautiful software, very easy to use, very easy to understand. You don't need any special mathematical knowledge here. You can view your inverter, solar power. Today we did 28 kilowatt hours, this week in total 59. This is the state of our battery. The grid is here as a backup, but it doesn't withdraw any power from the grid. All the power comes from solar and battery, and this is our domestic load around 4 kilowatts so if you put these things together and you remove the losses this is what you get further down you can see the battery power moving up and down during the day the state of charge for our battery the most important graphs are located here the PV load the load from um, the house and this is the grid the red line is the grid uh, you can see we withdraw a little bit of power from 12.30 until 4.30 to charge the batteries from the grid. I like a lot this menu for the batteries. It's uh, a nice way to see what happens on each battery separately. The state of charge is nearly balanced. Uh, the voltage is very critical, 49.6 across all eight cells. The temperature is more or less the same, quite balanced. We can check every battery, how it performs and how many cycles has um, achieved so far. Eight batteries, eight tables, one for each battery. You cannot see these details if you don't get the um, uh, pilot uh, cable connected to the console port. More details here, the state of charge, the performance of each MPPT input. We have uh, uh, the battery voltage, average battery temperature, the grid voltage, inverter temperature, really important parameters here. And the load power, how the load is shared across the two inverters. Nice graph, what happens in the last 30 days and what happens in the last 12 months. The configuration is very easy, you just select the country, you set your password, you click settings to add the inverters, it will automatically detect the inverters 
and when you see the cables here you need to click and highlight the USB cables and then you have to do the same for the battery remember periodically to check for any updates here if you see any updates available just accept them and let the system reboot automatically back to the screen it's really easy you don't even have to check the screen of the inverter or uh, any special uh, application that comes with the inverter this is much better and very easy to uh, to read I hope you enjoyed this video if you need anything else please give us a call or uh, send us an email thank you very much